Hey guys, Revo now here, and today we're diving into a world some thought they'd never see. A purely Google Free Harmony OS experience. Yeah, you heard that right. We managed to snag a new Huawei tablet fresh out of the box, running Harmony OS without a single drop of Google juice. Think of it like finding a unicorn riding a roller coaster. Rare and totally awesome. Now I know what you're thinking. Revo now, is that even possible? Is this some kind of tech sorcery? Well, hold your horses, because I'm about to break it all down for you. We're going to explore what this Google Less Harmony OS looks like, how it feels to use, and most importantly, whether it's a viable option in a world dominated by, well, you know who. All right, first things first. Why are we even talking about a Google Free Harmony OS? Imagine a delicious burger. You've got the juicy patty, that's your phone hardware. The fluffy bun. Harmony OS, but someone forgot the ketchup and mustard. Google services. It's still a burger, but it might feel a bit different. That's because we're so used to Google's ecosystem. Gmail, Maps, YouTube, the Play Store, but in some parts of the world, Google services aren't readily available. Enter Harmony OS. Huawei's answer to creating a smooth, connected experience without relying on the big G. They've got their own app store, their own maps, even their own cloud services. So what's it like actually using this Google Less Harmony OS? Think of it like driving a brand new electric car for the first time. It's familiar enough that you can figure out the steering wheel and the pedals, but some things are in different places, and the engine hums in a whole new way. Harmony OS is slick and responsive. The interface is clean, with a focus on rounded icons and intuitive gestures. It's actually pretty refreshing, but there's definitely a learning curve. Finding apps takes some getting used to, and some of the settings menus are tucked away in places I wouldn't expect. Absolutely different. Navigating the app world. Now let's talk apps. The biggest question mark for most people is going to be the app gallery, Huawei's alternative to the Google Play Store. Imagine walking into a new supermarket. You might not find your usual brands right away, but hey, maybe you discover some hidden gems. The app gallery has come a long way, with big names like TikTok, Telegram, and even some banking apps jumping on board. But let's be real, it's still playing catch-up. You won't find every single app you're used to, and side-loading can be a bit of a hassle. This is probably the biggest hurdle for Harmony OS adoption right now. Harmony OS. The verdict. So far. So is a Google free Harmony OS experience actually viable? It's like asking if you can live without pizza. Sure, it's possible. And you might even discover you prefer sushi. But it takes some adjusting and you might miss that cheesy goodness. Harmony OS is impressive, especially considering it's still a relatively young operating system. It's smooth, it's intuitive, and it shows a lot of potential. But the app gap is real, and it's something Huawei needs to address if they want to truly compete on a global scale.
Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.